Introducing Trailer Wear, a new protective wall covering designed especially for toy haulers and car trailers. Trailer Wear provides a four foot high cushioned foam barrier that not only protects cargo from impact damage, but also gives any new or older model trailer a finished professional appearance. Trailer Wear is constructed of 100% polypropylene fibers, essentially plastic, bonded to quarter inch thick closed cell foam. It looks and feels like carpet, but is rugged enough for exterior use. Trailer Wear is water and stain resistant, holds up to harsh chemicals, and won't mold or mildew. If it gets dirty, you can brush it off, hose it off, or even vacuum it. Very easy to maintain its clean, professional look. Trailer Wear's universal design fits all brands of trailers and toy haulers and is available for the most popular sizes, from 14-foot motorcycle trailers up to 24, 28, and 32-foot car haulers. Trailer Wear is sold as an all-in-one premium kit which covers the side walls, bulkhead, beaver tail, and wheel wells. An economical standard kit is available which covers just the side walls. The wheel well and bulkhead kits are also available separately as upgrades that can be added at any time. Trailer Wear is easy to install and conveniently accommodates cabinets, fixtures, and other accessories that may be already installed in the trailer makes a great backsplash for standard 36-inch high cabinets. To demonstrate the easy installation, watch as a premium trailer wear kit is installed in the 24-foot hauler. The kit includes enough wall covering for the side walls, bulkhead, beaver tail, and the wheel wells. The kit also includes aluminum extrusion rails with screws and high-bond adhesive. It's everything you need for a custom installation. To begin installation, disconnect power to the trailer. Remove any electrical switches, outlets, etc. located in the area to be covered. Our 24-foot classic brand trailer happens to have four round lights that need to be disconnected. In addition, there are vertical wooden trim pieces that need to be cut so the wall material can be installed on a flat surface. There are some steps that will make the installation flow very easily and the first is using a chalk line as a guide. To do this, measure 48 inches up from the bottom of the floor in several spots and snap a chalk line from front to rear. Repeat the chalk line at the front bulkhead and on the opposite sidewall. As mentioned, for this trailer, we need to cut the vertical wooden strip so that below the 48 inch chalk line, the trailer wear material will be able to lay flush to the wall. To do this, we remove all trim and cut them at the chalk mark. Trim will be reinstalled later. Next, install the aluminum extrusion rails with the open side down. Simply line up each trim piece along the chalk line and fasten to the trailer sidewalls with the supplied screws. Aluminum extrusion rails may need to be cut to accommodate light switches or other trailer accessories. With the trim installed, onto the wall covering. Remember the helpful hints from earlier? Number two is be sure the material grain runs in the same direction. There are labels on the back of the fabric to assist. And helpful hint number three is to place the roll vertically on the floor so that it can be easily unrolled as you go. To start, place the roll of material at the back of the trailer and work towards the front. Begin working in two foot sections, applying glue to both the back of the trailer wear material and the trailer wall. Do not glue the top one inch of material. Helpful hint number four, wait a few seconds to allow the adhesive to become tacky, then press the material firmly into place. Continue the same process around the trailer and be sure to cut small slits for the wires of any lights or outlets. If the trailer has wheel wells, carefully cut around them, allowing one inch of extra material to adjust the final fit after gluing. Repeat this same process, continuing around the trailer to install material on the front bulkhead and the opposite side wall of the trailer. With the wall covering complete, simply tuck the top edge of the trailer wear material into the aluminum extrusion rails. Both the premium and standard kits include an additional rail to install vertically to each side of the entry door. This trailer already had nice wooden trim, so it was not needed. To install trailer wear to the wheel wells, 
cut a rectangular section large enough to cover the entire wheel well. Remember hint number two. Pay attention to the grain direction so it matches the wall. Adhere the rear and top surfaces first, then the front of the wheel well. Cut a vertical slit on the front corners of the wheel well, creating a flap on each side. Adhere the flaps to the inner face of the wheel wells. Use a wood block to press the materials into the corners. And do the final trimming at the bottom of the floor. The final installation piece would be the beaver tail. Now not all trailers have slope at the rear of the trailer, and some may already have a diamond plate piece in place. If not, trailer wear creates a nice continuous look all the way to the floor. Simply measure and cut triangular pieces and apply adhesive to both the wall and backing and press into place. Remember to match the material grain to the wall for a seamless appearance. Installation is now complete. Any removed hardware and trim can now be reinstalled and power restored. What a great finished look. Clean and professional. The perfect upgrade for your trailer. And Trailer Wear is backed by a limited lifetime guarantee, providing years of protection.